Welcome to Frederick at its Best. Today we're here to recognize National Arts and Education Week. I'm Frederick County Executive Jan Gardner. Um, before I introduce the people who have joined me here uh, today, I do want to read a, a proclamation in honor of National Arts and Education Week. But first I want to share a little bit of information about natural, National Arts and Education Week. In 2010, the U.S. House of Representatives passed a resolution declaring the second week in September as Arts and Education Week. Congress designated Arts and Education Week to highlight and promote the important role arts education plays in producing engaged, successful, and college and career ready students. All students from kindergarten to college and even beyond college benefit from 21st century skills that a comprehensive art education program provides, such as artistic expression, innovative thinking, and creativity. Celebrating National Arts and Education Week is a way to recognize the impact the arts have throughout the curriculum and across all core subject areas. It gives us time to reflect on the importance of a quality arts education as an essential part of a well-rounded educational program. And Arts and Education Week encourages us to share the message of quality arts education with other elected officials, decision makers, and the whole entire community. So now I will say as a parent of three students who graduated from Frederick County Public Schools that I often saw the infusion of arts into their uh, school programs. Sometimes they might be asked to design a poster about a certain period in history as part of a social studies class or design a book jacket cover in a language arts class or I know when one of my daughters entered high school which was a stressful transition that art was a, a really uh, fun way for her to be engaged in her high school. But rarely um, did I really stop to think about how important art was to making sure that students had the opportunity to use creative expression and to expose students to the arts outside of their typical uh, specials classes. So now I'd like to read the proclamation. Whereas arts education, comprising a rich array of disciplines including dance, media arts, music, theater, visual arts, and more, is an essential element of a complete and well-rounded education for all students. And whereas arts education enables students to develop critical thinking and problem-solving skills, imagination and creativity, discipline and collaboration, alternative ways to communicate, and promote cross-cultural understanding, and whereas arts education contributes to increased attendance and graduation rates in schools, improves overall academic achievement, and prepares students for college, career, and citizenship readiness, and whereas arts education contributes to personal growth outside of the classroom, including increasing a student's likelihood to participate in civic life, volunteerism, altruism, and community engagement, and whereas to succeed in today's economy, students must develop traits that business leaders demand in the 21st century workforce, such as communicating through words, images, sounds, and movement. And of course, technology and social media has really um, elevated that. And whereas the arts are an integral part of Frederick County's rich history and contribute to our economic and cultural vitality. Now, therefore, as the as the County Executive of Frederick County, Maryland, I do hereby proclaim September 11th through September 17th as Arts and Education Week in Frederick County and commend this observance to all of our citizens. So with me today are some representatives from Frederick County Public Schools, including some art teachers. And I'd like to ask the participants here to introduce themselves and maybe say a few words about the importance of Arts Education Week and arts in our schools. And I'll start with Dr. Kevin Cuppet, who is Frederick County Public Schools Executive Director of Curriculum Instruction and Innovation. Thank you. <laughs> That's a lot to say. Well, um, first of all, congratulations to you students. Uh, as a former art teacher myself, one of the toughest decisions I ever had was selecting that one work of art to go on display somewhere. So you should be very proud of your accomplishment. On behalf of Dr. Alban, our superintendent of schools, who could not be here, but is a very ardent supporter of the arts, I wanted to thank Executive Gardner for having this kind of event. This is a fantastic opportunity for our students. Um, we really believe that the arts are an essential part of a student's academic career. Uh, we, we have a wide variety of offerings starting um, in kindergarten and going all the way through 
high school, including an arts academy um, that's at TJ High School for those students who really want to dig deeply into the arts. So we feel it's very, very important. And for a lot of the reasons that Executive Gardner pointed out, one thing we hear from businesses is the jobs that students will take on 10 or 15 years from now, we're not even exactly sure what those will be. And so creative minds, people who can think outside the box and solve problems, is a characteristic they're looking for. And we believe we get those from the arts. So um, special shout out to our teachers across the district. Uh, if you've never been to the Delaplane show um, in um, May, uh, it's phenomenal. And that's where these works were selected from. It's amazing. Well, excuse me, March. Um, it's thank you. Uh, it's amazing what students produce, uh, whether it's at the elementary, middle, or high school. So please uh, feel free to stop by that March event. Okay, you want to pass the microphone? Yeah. Oh. Hi, I'm Laura Snyder. I'm the um, our teacher over at Brunswick Elementary, um, and I have to kind of. Uh, piggyback on what you just said there's so many things that come to a student when they come to your classroom and a lot of times maybe they don't always excel in math or in science but when they come to the art room they just they blow it out of the water and they shine and it's awesome and I just love it and that's why I became an art teacher 13 years ago and I'm still doing it and I love it to do stuff like this for my artist Fantastic. all right so Everybody's stealing my thunder. I was even going to talk about, I was even going to say, he hasn't talked about Youth Art Month. And then, oh, wait, you talked about Youth Art Month. Um, but yes, the pieces that you see in the hallway this evening, as you all know, as the participants, were taken from the Youth Art Month, which is in March. And my colleague, Susan Thomas, who handles the elementary side of things, and myself, which I forgot to introduce. I'm Dr. Randy Rump. I'm the curriculum specialist for secondary level visual and performing arts. Um, all of our teachers submit artwork from across the county. The pieces go up on display for the entire month of March in a partnership with the Delaplane, so I definitely encourage you to go out and check out the artwork and see the great work that our students do do. And you can see by here in uh, the samples we have in the hallway, they're fantastic. So thank you. Hi, I'm Emily Bryant. I'm the art teacher at Ballinger Creek and Monocacy Elementary. Um, I've been teaching for 10 years. I think the arts is super special, especially for teachers who get to stay in one place over a period of time because you get to see kids grow from kindergarten to fifth grade, and that's just amazing. This is my first year that I've had the same students for six years in a row. And also, art is a safe place where mistakes are okay, and like that's not always the case everywhere. So I think it's a really nice place for kids to just express themselves and have a place where accidents are turn into great things. <laughs> Hello, I'm Becky Williams. I'm from Ballinger Creek Middle School. Uh, I have been in the arts education for 29 years. <laughs> and um, I've seen a, a lot of great students come through. And I have to agree with everything that was said in the proclamation because I do believe that the arts are what make our students, some of them, come to school. That's why they come to school. And also, just the fact that they sort of like you see the light bulb go off in our classes sometimes. We will be doing something that ties into something they're doing in another class. And the light bulb just goes, oh, now I get what they were talking about in math class when I'm doing perspective. So I really am a firm believer of what you just said in the proclamation. And I'm extremely proud of, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give her name because I want to, Kaylee Olson my student over there, who is now in high school and knocking it out of the park. And I've watched her grow in the middle school, and I'm just extremely proud of her. So congratulations. Well, I've got them all beat. Um, I'm Kitty Martin at Newmarket Middle School. Um, I've been an art teacher for 37 years. So and I still love it, still find the joy in it every day. And as um, Becky was saying, um, you know, this is why kids come to school sometimes. This is their goal. You know, it's the, it's the best thing of the day and really is their joy and my joy. Because when you see their eyes light up, and I'm teaching children of children that I've taught. So I've got like the grandchildren, which is like so awesome. <laughs> it's so much fun. And, and I don't want to sound like, you know, that, that sounds terrible, but no, but it's fun because I even have the parents come back and say, oh, you're still here. I'm so glad because I want my daughter or my son to have you. So there's nothing more rewarding than that. So, you know, it's a pleasure. All right. Okay. 
I do want to say thank you to all the teachers in particular who showed up here this evening. We know this is on your extra time, and you so support your students and, and what they do that you take the time to come here and support them. So we appreciate that. Now, this is the second year that I have commissioned art, student art, in Winchester Hall as part of uh, Arts and Education Week. And I have to tell you, we've had a, uh, a display. Uh, last year's display was up where this year's display was up, but we've, we've kept last year's display. In fact, if you look through the door there, you'll see that it's, it's hanging in, in that office space. And so we're going to fill this building with student art because the visitors and employees in the building really love to see it. It not only brightens our hallways, it brightens our day. You can't help but be happy when you see this art hanging here and see the joy that went into creating it. So I really want to say congratulations to all of our, our, our students who have their art here. And I will also add that the staff that had to select which pieces of art we were going to put here um, that did come from the um, all-county art show that was held in the spring at the Delaplaine Plain Visual Arts Show. It was really tough. So now I'd like to, I'm going to pretend I'm a teacher, dismiss our teachers and administrators, <laughs> and I'm going to invite up our student artists, if you're comfortable to come up, to join me because we want to recognize you. We're going to start scrolling uh, pictures of your art on our monitors. And um, so that you can see it. And so don't be shy. I know I talked to a couple of you. If the student artists would like to come up and join me, I'd appreciate that. Come on. All right, come on up. OK. So what I'd like to ask you to do, if you're comfortable with it, is I do want to pass the microphone and ask you to introduce yourselves. Um, and maybe you can move in a little closer, because we're spread out a little bit here. Thank you. And um, just in, you can say as much as you want. You can introduce yourself and say what school you're in. And, or you can talk also about your art project, maybe how you came up with the ideas, and whatever you want to add. So I'll start with you. Okay. I'm Carly Heller. I go to Walkersville High School. I just want to thank my teachers for pushing me to like keep doing art and to get me where I am. Hi, my name is Taylor Fry. I go to Tuscarora Elementary School and um, I like to do art a lot and it inspires me in my other classes to keep working harder and to um, do as best as I can. Hi, my name is Layla Griffiths, and I, I go to New Market Elementary School. Hi, I'm Lucy Fragilio, and I go to Brunswick Elementary School. OK. All right. I am Charlotte Kilgore, and I go to Liberty Elementary School, and I love drawing and coloring. Um, I'm Annika Van Steinberg, and I go to Middletown Middle School, and I'd like to thank my art teacher, Mrs. Wright. Um, she can't be here today because she has something else going on, but I'd like to thank her for, you know, helping me um, push myself and work on my talents. Hi, my name is uh, Kaylee Olson. I'm, I go to Tuscarora High School, and I would like to thank my parents, my art teacher, and my friends for motivating me to actually do art. Hi, I'm Ruby Pezos. I go to Ballinger Creek Elementary School, and um, I just love doing art because when I go in that classroom, I know that even if I am not good at art, my teacher will still encourage me to keep doing it and try my best. Hi, I'm Melissa Monroy, and I think art very fun, and I go to Valley Elementary School. Very good. All right, let's give our student artists a round of applause. So I'm very pleased this week that we are able to celebrate Arts and Education Week with such wonderful student art. I really want to thank you for giving us the beautiful art 
that, that is going to hang in Winchester Hall in this third floor hallway all year. And we're going to keep it, i got to tell you, we're going to keep it for the next few years, too. <laughs> because we're very proud of your talent and very impressed by it. And I want to encourage all the citizens in Frederick County to remember the importance of arts, not only in education, but throughout our life in Frederick County. I think I speak for everyone who's here when I say that we're committed to keeping arts an important part of Frederick County's comprehensive and competitive public educational program. We want the arts to continue to enrich our lives and our community, not only as part of our history, but as part of, of an integral part of our community's bright future. So thank you for joining us uh, this evening, and thank you to all of our student artists. Thank you very much. And um, I know some of you were, were interviewed by our, our TV crew, but we are putting together a clip of um, students who wanted to participate in that. And we will send you a link to this presentation as well. So congratulations to all the parents. I really appreciate you taking the time to be here and to support your children. So thank you very much. So how does it feel to be here today? Um, I like it a lot. Uh, it feels really nice because I don't really like my artwork a lot. I'm very critical about it. So it feels really nice to have people appreciate it. I feel great because I didn't expect me to um, go from one art gallery to another. And like I didn't expect my art to go this far. It's like amazing. Like I didn't even know this place existed before. And now it's here. And it's just like, this place looks so important and it just feels like such an honor to have my artwork here. I feel really fortunate and it feels really awesome because I, when I started out, I felt like I was not a good artist, but like, as I kept going, I just kinda went with what I had and it turned out to be good. I've been making art for a while, but I never tend to um, really submit it anywhere so it's a very interesting to have just been kind of told and offered this instead of doing it myself it's definitely nice what do you hope for these students who came here today well I want to show them how proud we are of them I want to encourage them to do well in school art is part of that and to recognize that a career in arts is one of their options but even if they don't choose a career in the arts that arts is something they can enjoy throughout their life. First of all, there should be this sense of pride. As I mentioned, it's, it's, it's tough for a teacher to pick a single work of art. So for students to get selected, they should feel very proud. They put a lot of hard work into the, um, into the project. So to get it here is a great recognition of that effort. I hope they just keep going. I mean, don't stop. Um, regardless of what you make it into as a career, that you realize that you now have the ability and the, the talent to have an outlet to get some of that creativity going and use that creativity in the real world.